Hi, I'm Maham Tarek from SkillCurve and in this lab we'll learn how to use Azure Data Studio to perform some basic SQL queries in Azure. Before we start our lab, let's discuss some of the basic facts related to SQL language. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is a standard language for accessing and manipulating databases. It can execute queries against a database and help you retrieve, insert, update, delete, data. Now, you can have two different types of commands in SQL, DDL and DML. DDL stands for Data Definition Language. It is used to create the database schema. It is not classified. Create, alter, drop, truncate, comment, and rename, etc. are type of commands that you can use in DDL. DDL command affects the entire database. While DML stands for Data Manipulation Language, used to populate and manipulate database. It is further cl classified as procedural or non-procedural DML. It contains statements like select, insert, update, delete, merge, call, etc. DML commands affect one or more records in the table. So in this lab, we'll be performing the following steps. First, we'll create a SQL database on Azure then download and install Azure Data Studio and connect it to Azure Database. And finally, we'll query through our database using Azure Data Studio. We'll use both DDL and DML queries. So let's get started. The first thing we need for this demo is the SQL database. So let's create one. Or if you already have one created, you can skip to the next step. I won't go into the details of how to create an SQL database as we have a separate lab dedicated for it that you can check out. Just remember the username and password for login and edit the firewall rules in the networking section so that you are allowed to connect to your database from your IP address. Don't forget to add sample data in your database as we will need it for curing later. Now just review and create the database. As our database is getting deployed, meanwhile, we can download and install Data Studio. So to download Data Studio, just Google download Azure Data Studio and you will get the link to the official Microsoft downloader in the first few links. Now look for the type of operating system you have on your local system and select either installer or the zipped file to download. If you choose the zipped file, you will not have to install the tool. I'll choose the installer. Once it is done downloading, launch the installer. I'll keep all of the options as default and install it. The installation won't take more than a few minutes. Once installed, click on finish to launch Data Studio. Click on the sign in button on the bottom left corner to connect your Azure account with Data Studio. It will open a new tab in your browser and automatically connect if you're already logged in or ask for credentials. Now it's connected. Once the database is deployed, go to the resource, open firewall rules and check if the database is accessible through your IP address. If not, just click on the plus sign here. Now go back to the resource and copy the complete server name that we'll use for the connection. With your server name copied to clipboard, open Azure Data Studio and click on new connection. Put in your username and password in the SQL login authentication type that you used in your database. Type in an optional name and paste your server name in the server field present in the connection details and click on connect. Now we have successfully connected our Azure database to Azure Data Studio. Now I'll just click on the database present here. I named it Maham. And here are all of the tables present in the database. These are the sample tables that we added while we were creating the database. We can click on any of these tables or their views. We can even query the first thousand values in any table from here. I'm just doing this to see if I am successfully connected to the database and I can actually access and modify the values present in the tables. Now let's start curing the data. We'll start with some of our DML queries. I'll just enhance the size of this screen so that it is more visible to you. 
In data manipulation, the first and basic operation would be to select the data. So I'll run this simple select query on the sales LT table where I'm selecting three columns here. So let's run the query. Here in the results, it has returned me 37 rows and three columns. Now along with results, I can see another tab here, messages, which tells me the total execution time and the number of rows affected. Now the result table, I can create a chart out of it. I can even save the table as output in many different formats. We can run our queries on the tables or on the views as we've done in this example. Now I'll run the same query again, but now I want the results in a particular order. So for that, I can use the order by statement. And now we can see that it has returned me the same results, but in the order that I wanted. Now I want to run this third query, where in the same view, I want to select all the columns where the parent product category name is equal to clothing. So it has returned me only those records where parents product category name was equal to clothing. And the result is in no particular order because I have not used order by statement here. So this was the use of the where statement. Now let's look at what we can do with join. So this query joins two tables and returns three columns, one column from one table and two columns from the other table where state province is Idaho. This query joined two tables, returned three rows in no particular order. The customer ID comes from customer address table and city and state come from address table. So this last DML query is the most interesting one. We can easily return the maximum, minimum, average or sum from any given column of a table. So this query is the sales order header table to return the highest total due, the lowest total due and the average total due and sum of all the orders. Now that's a lot of information that we can get by running a simple single sentence query. Now before I move on to the DDL queries, I just want to search for the total due table from where it took all of these values. And here it is. Now let's run some of the DDL examples. The first and basic thing you can do with DDL is to create a table. So here, this query will create a table in the same schema as other tables. I'll call it subscriptions with two columns, ID and name. Here we can see the new column created. I'll just run select steric from subscriptions to see if I have the columns here in the results. We can see the column names, but there is no value present here because we have not saved any data in this table. Next, let's see what alter does. So this query will alter the subscriptions table by adding an additional column. This new column is allowed to be empty. We have added another varchar column and it is allowed to be null as we can see in the results. So for our next example, We'll insert two rows in the subscriptions, each with a unique ID and different names, leaving the category one empty. So to verify my results, I'll just run the select query again. And here I can see the new values. So for my next query, I want to update the subscriptions column so that the subscription category is equal to pro premium where subscription id is equal to 2. When this query runs successfully, I'll run the select star query again to verify my result and I can see the updated value in the subscription category column. Another basic operation is to delete. So this query will delete any rows or records from the table where subscription category is null. So let's verify the results. It has removed all of the records where subscription category was null, but this one row remained because we updated its category name earlier. Now in our last example, we'll drop the whole subscriptions table that we created and we'll verify the results from this tree view that we have on the left side. And here, when I refresh it, 
the subscription table is gone and we're done with the queries i'll show you how to delete the database but i won't be deleting it since i need it for later i hope you had fun querying with us thanks for watching